Okay, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, change out the um, bath oil filter on the Lincoln SA200. Okay, let me take this off. Comes right off. And this is what you have inside. It's got oil in it, okay? Inside of here you have uh, a mesh screen. It's made out of mesh and looks like a gigantic brillo pad you can actually take this off if you like and soak it in diesel and kerosene oil and it cleans out the insides I'm not gonna do that we used to do that years ago on the old Ford, Ford tractors they used to take this out and clean it and soak it in, in uh, diesel and kerosene and after that they will clean it out they blow dry it and then they put it back on but I'm not gonna do that today so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the oil in here in the bath oil all you have to do is take the oil out dump it just dump it out dump it all out dump it all out and then after you dump it out it's got this uh, thing right here in the middle this thing will pop out Take a little bit more than popping out. Uh, we'll hold on. Let me get a screwdriver. Keep the camera on there. Okay, this will, will come out. It's going to take more than that. See, the whole thing comes out. You see, this is all the dirt that's collected inside the oil bath. See how nasty, dirty it is? I cleaned that about a year ago. All that is dirt. Uh, and this, this is a separator. The oil falls in there. And as the dirt accumulates, it goes down these little cracks right here. Goes down these little cracks right here. Goes down the cracks right here and it ends at the bottom of there. Okay, son, so just film that right there. Not too close. Right there. Hold on. Stay right there. What you do is you can take a, a towel or something and clean this off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it off with a, with a shirt. Clean that off. Then take this. Clean this off too. I'm going to say, can't you just get it wet? Yeah, you can wash it if you like, but clean this off. Then after you clean it off, see how nice and clean it is? All you have to do is you take your the rest of the oil bath and remember this thing comes apart it comes apart take it take it and put it back in slice back in like that Boom. so you got it back in then you take I'm gonna use a uh, dirty weight oil Uh, make sure that you fill the bottom make sure that you fill it all the way to the bottom because the oil has you have to have oil at the very bottom of this thing here okay it'll tell you right here on the corner the oil level it'll say the oil level right there you see I don't have enough oil a little bit of more oil, I'll be right back.
little bit more oil. There it is, and as you can see, I filled it all the way to the oil level. But as you're filling it up, make sure that you move it back and forth like that so the oil will go into the bottom, bottom of the cup down here. And then after you finish, all you have to do is come back over here. Come back over here, take it. back in place that snap ring has to go around the bottom one and then it's got a lip on the top hold on let me show you see it's got that little lip right there that little lip holds onto this and then this lip that's on the bottom on this thing here holds on to this right here okay and as you see I just put it back in Put it back, it's life right in, and then you just tighten it up. Tighten it up nice and tight. And that's how you change out an oil bath. You just untighten it here. It comes out. You have a whole cup. Like the whole thing comes out. You dump it out. You clean it. You can wash it if you want to. Whatever you want to do to it. I just clean it with a rag. And after you do that, just fill it up with oil. And as you're filling it up, make sure you fill it up to the oil line. It's got a little oil line right there. But make sure that the bottom of the cup also fills up. Not just the circle on the top, but the very bottom fills up all the way to the top. And also inside of here, like I said, you have a mesh. It's made out of like a Brillo pad. Uh, back, uh, I grew up on a on a farm ranch, and uh, they used to do farm work a lot. And what they would do is they would take this, basically the whole thing, and they dip it in uh, kerosene and diesel, and they would clean it out. And after they clean it out, they blow dry it with the air. After they blow dry it, they would just put it back on and then put the the oil bath back in there and go from there. I've never done that before on this particular welder I've always just cleaned the oil bath and just pretty much left it as is but as you can see it was pretty dirty and the last time I cleaned it was about maybe about about a year ago so that's how you clean an oil bath on a Lincoln SA 200 thanks